what's up we are back out on the lake don't have very long to fish today um, and I've been pretty bad at shooting any kind of intro video or or uh, give you guys really any information we've just been busy busy catching a lot of fish um, which is awesome I mean got out here last weekend with my brother and he just crushed his own personal best uh, went from 2 2 to 3.81 pounds the biggest crappie I've seen in my life um, super pumped that uh, he was able to get that because it's just it could be a fish of a lifetime um, he's, uh, he's only chasing state record now I mean for the most part I'm sure you can one-up it but it was only five five or six ounces short of the state record here in Pennsylvania um, so yeah I mean just awesome time and haven't um, haven't been out any to anything uh, I wasn't out at all this week um, been kind of busy and I don't have very long out here today but we're gonna go hit some some of my favorite spots and and see what's doing but I did want to try and at least give a little bit of information here so my boat is a 16 foot crest liner storm um, still got the the stock trolling motor that came from the factory motor guide x3 I just put this in which I did a really kind of <laughs> lousy installation video of but um, that's the 106 SV uh, the eco map and I have this mounted on a homemade mount um, you know it might seem crazy but I just I like to spend money where it counts um, and I didn't want to spend you know almost 300 bucks for a stowaway mount or one of those you know cornfield crappie or something like that so <clears throat> I made this out of just a piece of black iron pipe and the uh, whatever you want to call this the, the, the feet for them there's one up on the top one on the bottom and just drilled two holes in the uh, metal Garmin bracket mounted it right there and I actually got a I got two lengths of 12 inch pipe and a threaded uh, sleeve so I can unscrew this pop in the extension and have the live scope up you know quite a bit higher but I mean I got good eyes still so I don't have a problem seeing it down there plus I wanted to have the ability to uh, basically pick or choose because when I'm bass fishing I really don't want I don't want that um, that live scope right up in my face because casting a lot if I get another guy on the boat it kind of just gets in the way. I don't want to smash it up with a rod or... Yeah, so anyway, the spot I'm fishing um, is a bay off of a main, off of the main lake. Um, there's a nice hard, hard bottom point on the left side, which I'll be fishing most of, um, mostly on that side. <clears throat> and then it's, it's a hard bottom, soft bottom transition in here. And there's some structure. Um, so it seems like from the middle of summer up until now where it's water temps 43 degrees back in here they've been tight to this structure in anywhere from 18 maybe up, sometimes up as shallow as about 15 but 15 to 30 feet for months um, I got something big splashing behind me over there Anyway, a little distracted, but yeah, that's what I'm fishing. I'm fishing uh, transition and right off of the main lake. It's just a small bay. Um, it's really been putting out the biggest fish I've caught in this lake. So, you know, I try not to hit any one spot too hard, but I don't, I don't, I literally I've kept less than a daily limit in this lake in years. Um, Every now and then I'll take four or five home just fresh for for the pan, but I don't I don't hoard fish. I don't, you know, pull a lot out of here and anything over thirteen inches just goes back. I mean we don't with the exception of my brothers, which I know I got some some not so friendly comments about keeping that fish, but hey, you know what? 
it's a personal choice. We do a lot to, uh, you know, make sure all of these big fish go back. And uh, he wanted that one to take home, put on his wall, and I support his decision in that because he may never catch fish that size again in his life. So anyway, um, I'll be fishing, unless it gets any windier, I'll be fishing this 10 foot uh, Mr. Crappie Slab Daddy. It's a pretty cheap two piece rod. And I got a 2000 size Cast King reel, which is also pretty cheap. Um, and it might seem funny to, to have, you know, a couple thousand dollars worth of electronics on your boat and only spend 30 bucks on a rod, but it's just kind of the way I like to do it. I beat these things up until, until, <laughs> until they don't want to go anymore and I just buy a new one. I mean, you know, it's just the way it is. This, this reel probably lasts me two years, maybe, maybe longer. And at that point for 50 bucks or whatever it is, if it's too beat up, I'll just buy another one. Anyway, uh, we're going to get, get to it and see what's doing. I have a feeling it's going to be good. And I want to get on them before the wind kicks up and kind of starts blowing me off of my spots here. But, all right, catch you in a minute. All right, before I pull up to my first spot, this has been the hot ticket for me lately. we got a couple snowflakes coming down here. Um, so this is a crappie magnet slab magnet um, I think these are two two and a half inch but ever since it got cold out this bait has just been just been working awesome um, so just a one eighth ounce straight shank jig head not a sickle um, these are pretty cheap I get these on Amazon I think it's the, the brand is Tamora something like that um, really nice stout hook um, the the jig heads are painted well you get this two-tone chartreuse and green which is which is my favorite color really for almost uh, the whole year but just simple simple jig you got a lot of a lot of movement on that tail just a little twitch really really gets that thing going and uh, these big fish have just been choking this thing. So we're gonna get in there and get after one. There's a whole bunch of bait sitting low. Sort of unusual. Usually not that low in the water column yet. But where there is bait, there is usually crappies and I think I think the wind direction today is actually pushing more bait in here than normal because I mean let me get down down on the ground here almost so you can see this hopefully it's not glitching out as much but I mean just the, the whole bottom whole top half of the screen it's just it's just full of bait right now Oh, he got it. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a dandy to start the day. Oh, yeah. If I had to bet, I'd say he's probably two pounds. Whoo, doggy. Come here, bugger. Come here. Just a beautiful, beautiful, chunky fish. I mean, the camera just does not do these fish justice half the time. That's why I always, almost always measure and weigh them. So at least you can get a better idea of what, what we're looking at here. That's a 15 inch fish. And I'm going to guess he's probably just under two pounds. Oh, 
Well, I was just 207. Another just perfect chunky black crappie. I mean, the belly on these things right now is insane. I mean, the belly is probably a good. Thing's got almost like a two and a half inch belly on it. Thank you, mister. I'll send you on your way. Off he goes. That was good. That was good. Nice and quick. Camera's been running for nine minutes. We got our first. I like to try and stay a little ways off of it and kind of pull it, pull my jig up over the structure from behind it. Seems to get more, more of a reaction out of them when you do it that way. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. oh, I almost missed that one. Not a very big one, but... Oh! Giant largemouth just tried to eat him. Holy cow. Oh, I wish I got that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't know if you could see that on camera, but... <sighs> I mean, probably a six or seven pound largemouth just came up and tried to eat this freaking eight inch, seven inch crappie. That would have been something. That would have been something for the books right there. Got him. Decent one. Man, that little little guy just choked that thing. He was way down in there. One. Pretty good sized fish. Man, chunky little bugger. <laughs> this guy's got a whole shad down his throat, too. I won't make you lose your lunch, buddy, but let me try and get it on camera here. See that? Crazy. I mean, this is only like a 10 inch fish and he's got a belly on him. A cool little black spot up on his fin. Alright, Buster. Go ahead and go finish your meal. <laughs>